following podcast has been brought to you by Gentlemen, boys, girls, children of all ages. Rambo Mania show probably brings to you this I, one half of your longest reigning Rambo Mania tag team champions of all the times. Uh, the Angel of Death 6XL joining me as always. Is I, your other half of the longest reigning Rambo Mania tag team champions of all the times. Mm-hmm. TJ <laughs> the Great. <laughs> TJ the Great. Of course, we are the Banter Club. We are here to discuss that AEW Dynamite on the Hose Network. I usually got them lined up behind me, but I don't this week. It's still there. I've got hose. It's just cold, so they wearing like like it's, snow bunny shit. It's mad cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad cold. I had to throw on my robe <laughs> to, to stay warm in these parts. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, bro. It's been it's, it was rough at work, you know, the first day, man. Uh, Monday, mm, you know, but then they got the heater to work. Yeah, yeah. yeah Tuesday he, was a little nicer. He's been clutch. I mean, here it's the opposite. It's so hot in this fucking room. I gotta open the windows at every fucking angle. <laughs> it's like the heat works too well. This heat, heat, this heater here is busted. But behind this wall is the actual like pipe heater that heats up like the bulk of the house. You know, the big long tube that goes up into the sky. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker, yo, and that shit cook, bro. That shit cook, cook, bro. I be in here like, <sighs> somebody turn on the AC. For fuck's sake, I'm dying. Yeah. I'm sweltering, I'm scorching. We got to bust the heat like that in one of the rooms so that it, it just, every time it comes on, every couple of hours, the room turns into a sauna and, you know, it's just steam rising to the ceiling and you, you <laughs> we got to crack watch, a window. You ever watch Action League now? Yes. <laughs> melt I Man. Be, I become Melt Man. <laughs> the power to, to melt. Melt. <laughs> do, do, do. And man. as I'm melting, I have to shed my clothes. So... I, <laughs> <laughs> I become super strong and super naked, like the flesh. Like the flesh. <laughs> it, it, it become, becomes a shapeshifter. <laughs> He's super strong and, and super, super naked. naked. Yo, what the fuck was we watching as kids, bro? Facts. What was that shit, bro? Kablam! Oh, that was God, that was man. just one part of a bunch of crazy shit Prometheus from Kablam. And Bob, Prometheus and Bob. That was the other one I was gonna bring up. Fucking god damn. Was it Angela Anaconda from that shit too? That originally, weird ass originally animation style. Yeah. And there was one called like Fez and Fondue or some shit like that. Yeah. Or Sn- Chez Sniz and, and Fondue. Fondue, I think it was. Sniz, Sniz and, and Fondue, Fondue. Yeah. yeah. That shit was funny, bro. Yeah, we had weird Good cartoons. I'm yeah, just weird was cartoons. Weird, bro. Uh, let, let's in the pro wrestling world, you know, of course, before we talk dynamite, we gotta talk the news in and out and about the world of pro wrestling. And Evergreen. A bunch of shit going on. Yeah. This week, guess who has popped his head back out of the woodwork? No, go home. Go home, go home, go home. Well, well, well. Go home, Roger. (laughs) We've got some news on the former WWE chairman, Vincent Kennedy McMahon. The fuck you want now, B? Get the fuck. The Wall, Get Street, here, <laughs> the Wall Street Journal has published a new article. We, we said months ago, when all the Vince stuff was popping off, there's more to come. They say there's more to come. And, you know, people forgot or, or thought that they, they was lying. But, yeah. no, nah, they wasn't lying. They was just right. compiling everything. Mm-hmm. Here's, here's some of the more. There's been legal demands from two women who allege mm-hmm. that he sexually assaulted them uh, in this Wall Street Journal article. Vince's attorney received a demand letter from Rita Chatterton's lawyer asking for eleven. Yep, y'all remember <laughs> eleven million dollars in damages. If y'all don't remember Rita Chatterton, she was the first female referee in WWE history. 
Uh, she very publicly accused Vince of assaulting her in the back of a limo here in New York in 1986. She she did an interview talking about uh, Vince and his misdeeds and her story. Uh, and, you know, it seems like she now with all this brought back up, she is now she wants to go after him. He got an email from a lawyer for a former spa manager who says that Vince assaulted her at a California resort in 2011. Uh, that incident is fresh. We have not heard of this until just now. So, And we know there's other instances of women accusing Vince of doing things like sending them, sending them undue text messages of, you know, his private parts and things genitalia. of that nature. Genitalia. Um there, there are many, many stories beneath the surface of Vince McMahon's conduct with women. Yeah. So, would you believe that with all this coming out, Vince himself has recently told people that I want to come back, pal? You stay in your ass the fuck out. Um, you know what it is? <laughs> he feels like he can just ride the wave like he's always done. Yeah, that's this the thing. This ain't going away, Vinny. This ain't this, going away, man. Vince is a guy that took on the United States government and and was able to ride that wave and survive and go on to become a billionaire. So it he he is that's ingrained within him. Let me mm-hmm. ride the wave, pal. He's done that time and time again. And if he now feels like, you know. Because it, it says in this article, he feels that he was misled by people close to him mm-hmm. in telling him that he should, you know, step away and that he could have rolled this out. So if he feels that way, there's no doubt in my mind that he would want to come back in. Like, well, let me get back to work and then do my thing. This is all Vince knows. This is all he's done. He's over for, here like, well, let me tell you something, brother. Yeah. And we're over here like, nah, bro, your time is up, bro. Wrap that shit up, B. But yeah, uh, if there's like... Shit. With this uh, Rita Chatterton thing and the other woman, and if more people decide to speak up and and tell their Vince stories, because this could bubble into a whole thing like it did with mm-hmm. Cosby or R. Kelly or Harvey yep. Weinstein or all these other powerful men that ultimately ended up suffering at, at the hands of their own misdeeds. Um, if it happens like that with Vince, then no. He's probably not coming back. He's probably going to end up in a much worse situation than he currently is in, where he just had to step away from the company. Uh, he might be in serious legal trouble. So, depends on what's happened. Uh, as far as uh, Vince returning goes in terms of his position in the company, he still does have majority voting power. Yeah. He still is a part of the... Uh, he still is majority shareholder. Mm-hmm. Um, so... In in those terms, he can finagle his. There is way. There are ways for him to finagle his way back into the company. From what I understand, they are all very very messy, but it all seems like stuff that Vince is definitely not above doing, um, even if yeah. it's his own family involved. So um, who knows what's going to happen as far as that? But yep. like we said, there may be a barrier to entry for Vince if there is any smoke to these fires. With yeah, these yeah. women. Yeah, he, he's, he could be in some shit. And he keeps treating it like it's a joke. And he needs to realize that that's not what it is, man. You got to get with it, man. Open your eyes and realize you might have done some fucked up shit. And you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to outright say, oh, he did some fucked up shit. Because, you know, you know, we don't we don't know how much or what he, you know, we don't really know. They, yeah. how, we how know much what he's said. been more or less accused of. Yeah, that's it. Like, you know. But with that being said, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can, we, he got to get it together, man. He got to realize this shit is not a joke. Yeah, he can't man. just bullshit his way out of this one. Yeah, I don't. He can't corny himself out of this one. This I don't know truth. if this is a, a wave he can just mm-hmm. ride out. Yep. Uh, but let's. Speaking of genitalia. Leia, let's look a little deeper into Vince's old company and, and mm. look at a situation that. Shit. <laughs> Are we sure he's really gone? Um, <laughs> so, Tuesday on NXT, Roxanne Perez beat Mandy Rose for the NXT Women's Championship. Congrats to Roxy. 
we love Roxy. She's great. She's a great young talent. Twenty one years old. Uh, mm-hmm. Bailey was doing her. Um, she deserves it and all that good shit. Yeah, she was doing her holiday thing uh, mm-hmm. where she like talks to a bunch of different people for for a charity every year, and she had Mercedes on. Hell yeah. Yeah, and then they brought on Roxanne, so they were all talking. It was a nice little, yeah. it was a cool little, it was a cool little moment. So yeah, that that's all nice and good. So there's that nice wave of positivity, and then the next day we see that Mandy Rose has been released from WWE. Yep, apparently for making a lot of money doing something sideways that ended up getting a little leaked. Yes. Um, so Mandy has, um, it's not an OnlyFans. Like everyone's calling it an OnlyFans just because of it's the not, nature of the service of what it is, but it is not specifically an OnlyFans. Yeah. I forgot what the actual service is called, but it's, it's a brand a, army. Yeah, brand army. It, uh, the inspiration, the former iconics, they have one. There's a lot of other people that have this where yeah, it's, it's, it's just. Like private content that you want to put out or whatever, and they can throw you a little cash here and there. Yeah, it doesn't have to be what it yeah, ended it, up being. Yeah. yeah, it can be whatever that person wants it to be. But the general idea is, you know, like uh, so many things are these days. You pay a subscription mm-hmm. price to the person, and they provide content. Think like Patreon. Yeah, it's like Patreon. It's like that. Mm-hmm. So, some of the photos from that were leaked. Uh, to the public. And, and videos. Yeah. V- pictures, videos, a whole lot. Um, and it's basically some only, f- a lo- along the lines of what a lot of OnlyFans content mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. Some, you know, some 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 naughty photos of, of so, Softcore TNA, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little bit of TNA <laughs> from Mandy Rose, yeah. which, you know, is, is her right to do. Because... Like like I'm going to talk about, for the last year and a half or however long, WWE has been capitalizing on her sex, af- sex appeal. So mm-hmm. it is more than within her rights to do that herself. But when you work for WWE, <clears throat> we own your ass. <laughs> yeah. I guess the, the issue with WWE is that they have, I guess, partnerships with other companies. I, 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 the rumor is, in this case, it was Mattel. Mm-hmm. And that Mandy's content was in breach of their agreement with Mattel. So they, they asked her to take it down. They should have just stayed with fucking Jax, bro. <laughs> right? Jax wouldn't have said nothing. But <laughs> Jax would have just been like, do you, fam. <laughs> do you. Whatever. <laughs> we'll sell even more Mandy toys. So yeah, we used to make video about. games, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> uh, they asked Mandy to take it down. Mm-hmm. Mandy did not want to take it down. Nope. Apparently, Mandy makes a lot of money from this. I'm sure she does. More than she does from good old Papa H. Yes. So, I guess they reached an impasse and WWE elected to fire Mandy over this. Mm Mm-hmm. So, I mean, listen. And then the Twitterverse blew the fuck up. Everybody has blown up. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of outrage all over the place about this. Uh, mostly owing to the fact that, you know, Mandy was fired over this. Mm-hmm. Um, the defense of WWE is that they are a PG product. They are for families. They do a lot of marketing for kids and things like that. And if they asked Mandy to take this down because this breach is one of our agreements, then, you know. They're take bound the by the contract. Down. Yeah, take it the fuck down. Yeah, we're, we're telling you to take it down, so take it down. Yeah. So if she says no, then they got to do what they got to do, which mm-hmm. I suppose is fair enough. They gave most of the people back their Twitches and all that stuff and all their extra gaming stuff. Yeah. Like so with, long with, as they keep it within the WWE parameters of PG. In terms of the third party, they did walk back a lot of the more restrictive things that had gone on under Vince once he was gone, mm-hmm. like. People can stream and do other third-party things now. So they did bend on that. So I can see how they're like, our hands are tied. We, we can't do much more. But I I, I completely see, Man, see it from Mandy's uh, perspective in that if I'm making money doing this, uh, 
promoted myself and and my body autonomy and in everything the same like that. way you more or less do for the little horny boys exactly they promote mandy's sexuality on tv every Dickheads. single week so Dickheads. why can't mandy do it for herself for real this time <laughs> yeah Ah, because WWE, ladies and gentlemen. And that's that's where I think the problem is. Okay, fair enough. If you're a product for kids, you can't then continue to promote Mandy's sexuality every week. Because like, even when we watched NXT, we talked about this. Mm-hmm. All they ever do with Mandy Rose is talk about how sexy she is. You want to talk? You want to talk about something? Let's, I'm not even going. I'm just going to say one name. Nikita Lyons. Oh. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I got to say, bro. <laughs> like, where's your argument, WWE? Nikita Lyons. I've never seen, Lions. <laughs> I've never seen <laughs> Nikita Lyons wrestle. I hear her name every single week. I see her promoted every single week. WWE. <laughs> where's the lie? CM Punk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like WWE pressured people to be more like Mandy Rose, to dress more like Mandy Rose, mm-hmm, to to mm-hmm. capitalize on theirs. They wanted to capitalize on everybody's sexuality the same way they, they capitalized on Mandy Rose's. But now that she does it, it's a problem. You're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, <laughs> shout out to Mandy. Um, mm-hmm. This is, uh, I'm sure, whatever she wants to do, if she wants to continue to take this page to wherever she wants to take it, she can. Uh, clearly, she was making a lot of money off it already. I'm sure she can make even more now. Um, and I doubt that the door is even closed at WWE for her. I'm yep. sure this could blow over and she could be back in no time. So, you know who's happy about all of, about, uh, about all of this? Who? Tino Sabatelli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah he got his girl home. She can make money. They could, they could, they could work on some couple shoots. They could do whatever. <laughs> Let's go over to New Japan and how there may be some synergy between WWE and New Japan. They trying at least. Yes. Um, Carl Anderson recently wrestled at the Tag League Finals, defended his never open weight championship against Hikuleo. And defeated the man. So, he is still the champion and still in WWE. So, now, his next opponent, it appears, will be Tai Matanga. Mm. He will face him January 4th at the Tokyo Dome. And it, it appears that that is confirmed. So, now, Wrestle Kingdom 17 is going to have representation from AEW. Mm-hmm. From Impact Pro Wrestling, mm-hmm. from WWE now it appears. Mm-hmm. So this is this is big because this is genuine. And former um, WWE, fucking Sasha's gonna be there. Yeah, even former WWE, and the fact that Mercedes is gonna be there. So nice little resurgence here for for New Japan. Yeah, New Japan coming out big, and recently they just announced that cheering will be allowed. So it's yep. not gonna be a clap crowd. We're gonna have cheering, chanting. Mm-hmm. Everything is gonna be on deck. Oh, so th- I need to hear some holes. It's going to be a whole lot of that. I, I'm I'm very excited mm-hmm. for that. Um so this is this is shaping up to be a very very big uh show for New Japan and I'm sure that was the the, the main thing of this. They get to say Yo. we have AEW WWE everybody on the show. The Forbidden Door is indeed open. Uh, uh I don't know if you got this in your books, but I'm going to say from firings to rehabs. No. No, you ain't got it in you? No, I was I was going to go somewhere else. Where was this? Oh, no, I was going to talk about Mr. Riddle. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. I mean, yeah, Regal's supposed to start, but I was going to talk about Suzuki going. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> go My ahead. segue was going to be, you know, as one door, as all these doors open, one door closes oh. because okay. Minoru Suzuki announced that Suzuki Goon is disbanding. Oh no! What the fuck? Yes. Um, if you don't know, Suzuki Goon is of course Suzuki himself. Lance Archer, uh, Taichi, Lord Taichi, Yoshinobu Kanemaru, Zack Saber Jr., Taka yes. Michinoku, El Michi- Desperado. Michi- <laughs> 
Ah, oh, Taka. <laughs> it's a lot of gangsters in Suzuki Goon. A lot of OGs. You know why I'm in laughing. Suzuki-gun. You know I'm laughing about about Taka. About Taka, yeah, because we, we, we was watching we, Taka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We was watching some Taka. Damn, son. <laughs> but yeah, all these men are off to embark on their own voyages uh, in 2023. No more Suzuki Goon. Mm-hmm. Uh, doing what many people say Bullet Club should have done a long time ago and disbanded. Eek. <laughs> <laughs> there should have been a new Bullet Club. It should have been Pew Pew Club. <laughs> pew Pew Club. <laughs> but, ah, listen, man. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shocked was to that see a cat? this. And, yes, that was the cat. I just saw something from the corner <laughs> of yeah. your screen just go plop. I'm like, what the fuck was that? She said, I need some water. It's cold over here. <laughs> I need some water. <laughs> yeah, but um, at the uh, I guess rest in peace. Eventually to Suzuki Goon, twenty eleven to to twenty twenty two. And I guess yeah, Regal's about to start again. <laughs> Respect. Respect. <laughs> um, then I guess let's talk the ratings for AEW Dynamite. All right. Winter is coming. Ah, all over me and you. <laughs> <laughs> People heard winter was coming and they tuned in. The ratings are up. 950,000 viewers. A 3-3 three, three and 18 to 49. You know Good what that was. Third you know what that was. Cable. You what? know damn well what that was. What? That was... Everybody was, was thinking about that boy Ricky Starks, man. Yes, that boy. Absolute. That man is absolute. Yes. Um, the only two things in front of AEW for the night, NBA on ESPN, uh, one of which, of course, was right up against the show. Early game was a 4-5. Late game was a 3-6. Mm-hmm. So more more along the lines of their normal and what they've been doing in, in typical recent yep. times. Unlike what happened were, with Raw. Yeah, yeah, Raw was apparently way down. but yeah. Yeah, Dynamite was on a bit of a slide too over the last three or so weeks, but they they bumped themselves they back up this up. week. Yep, but not yeah, yeah. not not raw, <laughs> not raw. Yeah, I don't know what was up with raw. I guess there was a big football game on. Damn raw. I don't know. Maybe may, maybe the Vince rumors got to people a little early. <laughs> people heard <laughs> Vince was back. Like, no, I can't do it. No, nope. I gotta leave now. I gotta I'm, leave I'm gonna now. be honest, bro. If Vince were to ever come back. I think it's a wrap for WWE for me. <laughs> I'm <dead laughs> I haven't ass. gone I, back. I don't think I'd I'd even support the pay per views. I'd I'd be like, yeah, yeah, you can hold that. It's that serious. Like if that it. man comes back, I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can hold the grip. Okay. <laughs> I'm already out. So if he comes back, I'm gonna mm-hmm. just be like, damn, that's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> look, look, it's AEW over here. <laughs> Facts. So. With that said, let's talk about winter and how it is coming. I mean, it's already here. I mean, if you've been in New York. Yeah, shit. <sighs> yeah, we, we didn't had a little bit of snow in recent times. Yeah. If you can believe it. Yeah. And, and fucking slush and ice and all of it. Yeah. Winter ain't wasting no time. Winter came early. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess you could say... Winter was a bit premature. <laughs> oh my god. Well, TJ, uh Yes sir. Are you ready? Oh, you know I'm ready. No! I said uh Aura, you uh, ready I am ready. Then for the thousands in attendance. And the millions watching at home. You and for one motherfucker who tried his fucking darndest tonight. Oh, let's get ready to banter. AW Dynamite Winter is coming from Garland, Texas. We open up with Round Ball Rock, the fucking. 
NBA on NBC theme. <laughs> I thought I was watching our show from a few weeks ago. <laughs> That's what I thought too, but fuck it. <laughs> Tony Khan is a fucking hooper at heart. Let's go. It's funny because we do this shit all the time, so it's like, uh, well, they caught on. <laughs> they knew what was up. We have that theme playing because we are opening up with the AEW Trios Championship. Hell yeah. The Elite versus Death Triangle. It is game four. Death Triangle leads the series two games to one. Yep. The Elite, of course, avoided the famed insurmountable 3-0 deficit two weeks ago. And now tonight, they look to avoid the almost equally insurmountable 3-0 hole. 3-1 hole, rather. 3-1, yeah. Don Callis, having coached this squad out of the hole, joins commentary. <coughs> the Elite, they start out hot. Wrestling this week, they, they work back over a lot of three-way offense. Nick hits an early Escalera, but... Then he comes up, his leg is hurt. He starts a limping on that leg. And you know, Nick Jackson, that's the long-range threat of the elite. He's the three-point threat <laughs> of the squad. So anything that's hurting that ability to lift and rise <laughs> for that three-point attack, it spells serious trouble for the gang. So, You know, you got to make sure <laughs> that that ankle is in the right place. If that ankle just decides to go left, then there's no way this man can play. He might not just be out of the game. He might be out of the series. He might be out of the series. It's looking, it's looking terrible for him right now. <laughs> Why not immediately, immediately go for fucking Charles? <laughs> for Chuck, right? Because you know. You know what's going on out here. Get me out of here, man. Taz, Taz even pointed out on commentary that he's not wearing, you know, traditional wrestling boots. He's, he's got them sneakers on. He was wearing, he was wearing Jordan ones. Hey. Yo, I'm going, I'm going to talk to you right quick, bro. The entrances here were fucking incredible. Hell yeah. Fucking, you have carry on my way, what's up? Glow, Kansas. And they go nuts in the crowd, and then they have the little parts, and the parts where it slows down, and... They do the whole shebang. It's awesome. And you got fucking, yo, Death Triangle is just awesome, bro. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Light Set over off. here. Dun, 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 dun. Light over there. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> then you see Pac Bat miserable. <laughs> <laughs> they get evil. <laughs> <laughs> Then Alex Abrahensis comes from out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Hype this shit. Just running around, running circles around these motherfuckers. The, orbiting around Penta like, like Diddy orbited around Biggie, yo. Swear to God. <laughs> he, he truly is the puffy <laughs> of the squad. Definitely. <laughs> so if that's the case, then who's Mace? <laughs> oh, my God. Who is Mace and Betha? Oh, God. Huh. Ray Phoenix. Ray Phoenix? Why Ray? Th All right, I guess Ray Phoenix is basically. I don't know. <laughs> Seems most likely to become a preacher. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is the, the, the good boy of the squad. He is the only one that has reservations about using the hammer. Penta is the. Not Penta. Penta's obviously Biggie. Fucking. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, Pac Pac. is the entire locks. <laughs> the whole locks. The whole locks. <laughs> the entirety of the locks. He's the locks fused into one person. Yep. <laughs> Damn sure as hell ain't Lil C's. <laughs> nah, nah, he doesn't. <laughs> or the junior mafia. <laughs> oh, God. Penta's kid is Lil C's. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <laughs> oh, good shit, good shit. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> um... So we come back from break. Matt fights off Death Triangle as as they point out that Nick was taken to the back, you know, with that injury. Uh, Kenny, he gets the hot tag. You can't escape. Gets a near fall on Pac. Then he goes Snapdragon crazy. Looks for the Terminator dive, but Pac cuts him off. Then they go back and forth. Kenny lands a brain buster. And before he can tag Matt back in, Penta runs over. Gives this man a package pile driver on the apron. Hits Maiden Penta in the ring. An inverted frog splash from Phoenix gets the two count. I see a sign in the crowd. Greg Abbott watches WWE. Truly a fiend. 
a terrible person, that Greg Abbott. <laughs> we don't fuck with, they don't fuck with him out there down there in Texas. Not at all. <laughs> um, and then, like Willis Reed in Game Seven of the oh, 1970 God. NBA Finals, Nick really Jackson he limps down from the locker room. He's ready to put the team on his back. He comes back to action. He goes for a super kick in the ring. But Phoenix catches it, and then Penta hits his leg with the hammer, and then Phoenix puts on the ankle lock, and Nick, with the injuries piling on, is forced to tap, and Death Triangle has taken a 3-1 lead in this Damn. series. Damn. Now it's going to be super pivotal game five. The, the, the 2016 Thunder, the 2016 Warriors. The 2016 Cleveland Indians, just three of the teams that have taken 3-1 leads in these series and just three of the teams that have blown that 3-1 lead. Terrible. Just will terrible. Death Triangle be one of them or will they clinch? Will they end and silence the doubters? Will they defeat the elite? Kenny Omega grabs the mic. He says, hey, listen, if you know sports... You know a 3-1 deficit is pretty bad. But I say this. For that next match, how about, you know, you make that hammer legal. And in fact, we make all weapons legal. Because we're sick of playing by your rules. So how about we just make it no rules at all. So Death Triangle seems down for it. And like you said, super pivotal now. Super pivotal now. Game yeah. five. Eek. No rules. Death Triangle with a 3-1 lead. Is going to be insane. It's going to be massive. Tony Khan really cooking uh, uh, NBA hood classic here. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. My basketball heart appreciates all of this. I, I, I too, from my childhood basketball days, am enjoying this. Not as much as I miss NBA ballers. Fact. NBA ballers. Yo, I had that game. And B. Hey, hey. Ah, I'm about to, I'm about to play. I'm about to stream that game. I'm about to stream the story mode for that game. I love that game. <laughs> I love that game. We got Alex Marvez with the world champion MJF. He congratulates Ricky Starks on what people are saying is a star making performance from last week. He says, "How about that?" On my first Dynamite appearance, I was already a star, and I just continued to hit home runs every single week. But Ricky, how many at-bats did you have before you hit that home run, huh? He says, oh, you say about me that I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth? You're right. I was born witty. I was born handsome. I was born talented. I was born better than everyone, and I'm not going to apologize for that. So see, nobody's rooting for me, so I have no one to let down. But see, for you, Ricky... You've got your mom and your city and your friends and everybody rooting for you. And that's a ton of pressure. And we're going to find out tonight, Richard, will the pebble turn into the diamond that everyone claims him to be? Or will he turn to dust? I like will that he line. he turn into Barney Rubble? <laughs> Barney Rubble. <laughs> I like that line. He should have said Rubble. He should have said Rubble. He should have. I was there waiting like, say Rubble. Say Rubble, motherfucker. If you don't say <laughs> Rubble. Why? What the hell? <laughs> she jumped. She jumped. She came back to the cold. She won her spot back. Uh, we got the acclaim. <laughs> they come out to a mega pop. Road yeah. warrior pop. These well, motherfuckers. Well. The moment that shit hit, they were singing, talking. They were saying the AOs and the listen on point. Listen. That was crazy. How the fuck were they so on point with it? Yeah, this crowd was hot all night. Mm -hmm. But in this segment in particular, they were going crazy. Um... Max had some lines. He very topical. We brought the belts back like Brittany mm -hmm. Griner. <laughs> our, yeah. our opponents getting booed like Elon Musk. <laughs> 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 he threw a Luca line out there, but uh, by the time he was doing it, uh, they get attacked by Jay Lethal yep. and Jeff Jarrett and goddamn Sotnam Singh. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. woo. <laughs> These men lay the champions out. Fucking Jarrett wax casting with the guitar. Jarrett says, Yo! Hey! But it, you know what kills me? Instead of saying, Listen. Yeah. <laughs> I think he says, uh, uh, what, what was it he said? 
Fucking uh, pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> says, yo, pay attention to me. He says, Are you paying hey. attention? Pay. <laughs> yeah, we got your attention now. Hey, you little bitch. Why don't you scissor <laughs> this? Slap nuts. <laughs> Slap nuts and just <laughs> fucking. <laughs> My world, <laughs> fucking stupid, bro. This shit pops me so much. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett calls it random chaos in <laughs> AEW. Is the just, shit. Just, hey, everyone, fuck you, slap nuts. <laughs> right. Here's a, <laughs> here's a fucking guitar shot. We, 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 we. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> and, he, and he gets so much heat. The crowd was just like, Bruh. they were. So and you could tell he's a cornet guy because he he came in here and literally. Thank you, fuck you, bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, yeah, he definitely is of that old school look of, I'm yep. here for the fucking heat. Give me the heat. <laughs> I want the heat. Facts. Yo, he just, that ass just walked up to this man. Destroyed him. Called him a bitch. <laughs> Called him slap nuts and left. Facts. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> Like it's like we always say, there's good old school and there's bad old school. Jeff Jarrett is fucking good old school. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett, you out of pocket. <laughs> yeah, constantly out of pocket. You out of pocket. <laughs> we got Tony with the Jess, mm-hmm. no longer holders of the Ring of Honor World Title or Pure Title. Jericho literally says, "I'm gonna take out my frustrations on some jobber tonight." His words, not mine. He says, "Some jobber." Uh, and then, you know, Tony asks Garcia about losing the pure title. And before Garcia can say anything, Jericho steps in. He's like, hey, Garcia, I know you lost the pure title. And, you know, I know you're a great competitor. And you're, you're of course, going to be able to get that back one day. But for now, how about you just shadow your elder, Sammy Guevara, over here? And then Garcia's like, oh, no. And then Sammy just grabs this man and he's like, that's right. You know, me and me and Daniel, he's coming to Rampage with me. <laughs> and I'm You're my kick, best friend. <laughs> You're my guy. And, and I'm like, going to kick John Moxley's ass. And my wife's going to kick Ruby Soho's ass. Get off. Yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah and then the whole time, poor Daniel Garcia's like, all right, get off. All right, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That fucking, it killed me because it's like every time Jericho has a problem with somebody in this group, he gives them an accountability buddy. Mm-hmm. Why? I guess Do it that's, yourself, bitch. I thought you was the leader. That's his way of delegating punishment. <laughs> You're a dumbass. Anyways. You got to hang out with this guy now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean actual Chris Jericho. I mean the, the character here in this. Yes. You know, yeah. that, that's, that's a dumbass move. Anyways. I like this hat! Yes, Jake Hager did that. <laughs> Everybody talks shit, and then Jake Hager just pops up at the end. I like this hat. <laughs> and the crowd popped for it. The crowd goes apeshit. Yeah, the crowd popped for it. We love that stupid ass hat. Yeah, the hat is over, man. The hat is over. Mm-hmm. Oh, now, we got the machine, Brian Cage, versus Jungle Boy Jack Perry. Yes, yeah, legit Jack Perry. This is getting weird. Yo, I, JR really won. He yep. won this argument. <laughs> His name should be Jungle Jack Perry. They, they gotta damn call it, him Jungle, Jungle Boy Jack, Jack Perry. They, they can't call it him Jungle Jack Boy Jack Perry. His daddy is Luke Perry. He needs to be Jack Perry. I it'll get, give him. It'll give him recognition. Jack Perry. <laughs> <laughs> and enough of Jim Ross walking into the office and saying, "Jack Perry." <laughs> I guess Tony was like, "All right, you want to just be Jungle Boy Jack Perry?" And Jungle Boy was like, okay. And Jungle Boy was like, fuck it, man. Shit, I lost. My name is Jack Perry. <laughs> if that's what you really want. <laughs> fuck, man. Why did I even come out here, man? Why did I let it be known? Now this man. <laughs> <laughs> JR wins. So Cage is beating on this man early. Suplexes him into the ring. He picks up Jungle Boy and does curls with him, like literal <laughs> bicep curls. That shit was crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, we come out of the picture to picture. Uh, Jungle Boy, he comes back with these big lariats. I love Jungle Boy's like consistent little story arc with his lariats over his career, and that he's gotten like stronger and stronger with lariats. So that a normal guy, this the lariats probably would have knocked down by this point. But Cage yeah. is still a beast, so he couldn't take him down. He's, he's absolutely insane. I mean, yeah. Look at the size of this man. By the way, we didn't get to talk about this, but did you like his his mortis getup? Yes. 
You like that shit? That shit yes. looks cool, right? Yes. I love I like that, that that Cage is always going to be one of those dudes that always shows love. Yep. Because yep. who better? He dead ass rocked it, man. Who better? He dead ass rocked it. Good shit, bro. Yeah. That's why I'm just, man, if only Canyon could have made it to AEW. I like how, also how on commentary you start mentioning how uh, when, when Jungle Boy comes out, his neck is kind of fooked. And yeah, because they, they of what start. Big Bill did to him. Yep, and then they keep talking about Big Bill throughout the match. I like yeah. the way they did that. They they yeah. said they were settings, putting little seeds. Yes, threading the story together. Mm-hmm. So, Jungle Boy comes back, gets a big destroyer for a two count, then goes straight into the snare trap where Prince Nana gets on the apron. So, Jungle Boy, he gets him out of the way, and then rolls Cage up for the one, two, and three. He gets the win, is able to slip out, and... Cage storms off, pissed off. Jungle Boy gets the mic. He says, at full gear, I beat Luchasaurus. Now, I beat Brian Cage. And now I want the biggest bitch of them all. Big Bill, get your ass out here and face me. Everyone's a bitch today. Welcome to WWE. Yeah, shit. Bitch, bitch, bitch all up and down the card. <laughs> you would have thought Jade was on the card tonight. Yeah, shit. And she isn't, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess they had to... Uh... What do you call it? Overcompensate. Yeah, for, overcom- for overcompensate the, for the fact that oh, Jay not here. Not there, so, yeah. yeah, somebody gotta fill in for the bitches. So they they had uh, Jungle Boy out here compensating for that. Yeah, uh, bitch. <laughs> they had Jeff Jarrett out here compensating for that. Bitch. Yeah, <laughs> 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 it's the laugh in the, in the song that gets me. <laughs> No. And then afterwards, just a whole bunch of... <laughs> my word, my word. Um, we got Stokely Hathaway. He comes out. He says, Jungle Boy, you piss me off. You you piss me off to the highest level of passivity. That's not even a word, bro. This man said... <laughs> he said, you're going to see the bottom of Big Bill's boot. You're going to see the back of my head. We're going to run through your ass tonight. Jungle Boy runs out to get him. But he then called him a hoe. Called him a hoe. Ho. <laughs> I was like, so we're really out here compensating for Jay Cargo, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then this man, Jungle Boy, was like, you're not going to call me a hoe. And he ran out to get him. Mm-hmm. But Lee Moriarty ran down. And then Big Bill followed. And then they took him down. <laughs> Fucking Stokers on the mic like, yeah, beat his ass while the music playing in the background. Rest in peace, New Jack. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> When he said that shit, I was like, that's kind of dark, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. Man said, yeah, rest in peace, New Jack. Fuck, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, respectfully, respectfully. <laughs> you need to watch your mouth be. <laughs> you <laughs> wallet. You, sir, are, are, are 100% completely and utterly out of pocket. Yes, <laughs> unequivocally. Unequivocally. Um, Big Bill hits another big ass choke slam on Jungle Boy, but then Hook, the man called Hook, his music hits. The 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 sixth ranger, the green ranger of the young pillars of AEW, Hook, he comes down to the ring, the heels back off. He helps up Wouldn't Jungle Boy. Wouldn't he technically Boy. be uh, uh, Jason? Like Gold Ranger Jason? Nah, he'd be the fifth ranger, not the sixth. The fifth ranger? Yeah. I mean, I guess. I guess it could be. Unless you're trying to consider Britt Baker, DMD, as the fifth. She kind of is when you consider, mm-hmm. like, the the, mm-hmm. the the young pillars of the company. If that's the case, then then yes, he is Tommy. Tommy. Rest in peace. Yes, rest in peace. Damn. God damn, man. This year took everybody. Don't even. I'm still wrapping my head around that one. Like, Tommy. We got the BCC in the back. Now champions once again, Claudio and Yuta. Uh, Mox. Uh, they're, they're all talking their shit. He says, this is a small statement of what we can do. Claudio says, in 2023, we're going to prove, you know, you think you're good. We know we're better. Yuta says, if there's anything I've learned amongst these men, it's how to be a warrior and how to fight for what you want. So if you want to take this from us, you're going to have to fight for it. And then all these, these men are ready to fight. They want to the smoke. Yo, this is all I got to say, bro. For those of you who don't know, TJ and I are the real BCC. The real life. <laughs> yep, I'm going to tell you who we are, man. We're the, we're the big rooster club. The big rooster. <laughs> 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 
we got a little quick video package for Swerve and Keith Lee. Uh, Swerve talking about how, you know, I gave you my connections, my partnership, my loyalty. And look how I was repaid. Keith Lee, I'm going to see you next week. We will meet face to face, but we're not friends. I don't got friends in this industry. Only acquaintances. His evil laughs in between was kind of spooking me out. Word. Swerve is getting spooky out here. It's getting real evil, and I don't know how to feel about it. Well, right, you're on true demon time right now. We got the House of Black versus the Factory. La Flow Factory. My poor homie Aaron Solo. He about to get murked. Yo, this entrance. Yo, this entrance. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just horror film, bloody mean. Uh, it's just serious. Evil, spooky, voodoo, brujeria shit on my TV. <laughs> and for this amazing entrance, the crowd starts losing their shit. Yeah, they love their, these their absolute collective shit. Everything they were gutted, legit gutted. <laughs> popping, they were popping out there, bro. Their feces. <laughs> 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 Why am I still going on with this losing their shit? <laughs> <laughs> um, the factory is <laughs> they eat- ate Chipotle. <laughs> shit, that's 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 what happened out here. The House of Black ate the factory. They literally hit the raid, beat the oh, shit. Oh no, out that's of- not good, bro. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> they gonna have diarrheas. Wait, yeah. be- before before they destroyed these people, yeah. Julia Hart is a G. Yeah, she stepped to Nick Camarado and missed Camarado it this man in the face. Camarado tried to do the fucking, the, the, the razor. Yeah, she was like, hey, like, how you like that? And Julia was like, how you like this? Missed. <laughs> <laughs> and while everybody's getting the ass whipped around the ring, fucking poor, poor, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, QT Marshall. QT Marshall, stupid ass, man. Just there fucking shook as hell. Watching the chaos around him and Malachi Black just sitting, chilling. Chilling, doing his little Indian stance on some on some CM Punk shit. Max. Mackin. <laughs> and everything around him is exploding. He's just like, it's what I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> everything is going according to plan. Yep. And then makes- he, they pan into the ring and you see these two men just evil. And they roll up on QT and, well... <laughs> Alistair Black had a nice little kick waiting for his ass. <laughs> yep, he eats the kick. He is pinned. It is over. Spooky, spooky, scary, scary shit. <laughs> Murked this man. Murked all these men. That's scary, bro. <laughs> yeah. These are some backwards ass motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> you don't want to smoke with the House of Black. Hell no, bro. This shit seemed like an episode of Wednesday on steroids. Now, <laughs> we got Hikaru Shida. She says, Jamie Hayter is a great wrestler, but she's not the one that's a history maker like me. I was like, facts, spit, spit that shit, Sheeta. Let them know who you be. Yeah, they was talking, both her and, and Jamie Hayter were talking that shit. Sheeta said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show Jamie Hayter the real Joshi style. <laughs> I was like, let's go. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Joshi shit. I love that shit. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be a Carl Sheeta versus Jamie Hayter coming up. She's so about to show her some Joshi shit, man. I I'm love ready some for Joshi. that. That's going to be fire. Mm-hmm. Now we got Renee with Britt Baker and Rebel. D. M. M. D. D. And oh, how the turntables. Britt Baker is going to talk, but she's interrupted by Sky Blue. Because no one in this company can get an interview through. It's been this way since 2020. Yes. Jesus. And Britt Baker <laughs> has been the main culprit of fucking interrupting people's interviews. So I was fucking glad to see her finally get an uh, interview interrupted. Yep. By Sky Blue, of all people. Yeah. Sky Blue was like, hey, you're pretty good at talking, Britt. Sure. But I want to see if you're anywhere as good at wrestling as you are at talking. So how about you fight Man. me on Rampage? Sky Blue can't talk to save a life. But it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. She young. You know... It's like she doesn't care about what she's saying. She's just saying things, and she's putting what they call fake enthusiasm yes. at the end of it because, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to wrestle you on Rampage. You're Woo! a pretty good talker, but 
Can you I, wrestle? I, I cannot talk. <laughs> <laughs> and then Britt is like, I'm the fucking face of this division. I'm going to beat you your ass Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> <laughs> That's basically her, her whole vibe that entire interview was, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> Who are you stepping to, bro? You step into the Ocho right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to talk about goddamn Ocho. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you ready for melanated MJF Austin Theory? <laughs> oh, my God, yes. <laughs> Chris Jericho versus Action Andretti. <laughs> <laughs> this man, <laughs> he looked like a cross between, like, fucking Dante Martin Fucking MJF and Austin Theory. Just what? Whose man's is this? <laughs> Just you'd like like uh, this is a WWE 2K22 wrestler like generated by by the gimmick. If you just like put a bunch of like those three guys into it, fucking discount Damon Kemp looking at. <laughs> <laughs> So this starts, oh, Jericho God. slaps this guy, and, <laughs> and the crowd is saying, you tapped out at Jericho, because, of course, if you didn't see uh, Ring of Honor Final Battle, he tapped to the giant swing. Yep. Um, but, you know, he fights back with, with chops, and the crowd is pop. He pops big for, for this, this jobber, so to speak, yep. fighting back. But Jericho works him over again. Um, he, he throws punches in the corner, and the crowd starts counting. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, Ocho, nine, ten. Ocho has now replaced eight. If anybody here has watched Ring of Honor the whole day, <laughs> the whole yes, day. That happened the, the whole time whole at Final day. Battle. There was no nothing else, bro. Just everything. Every time there was an eight, it was immediately Ocho. That was great. <laughs> Chris Jericho great. has done it again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Eight has been officially replaced in AW slash Ring of Honor lexicon with Ocho. Ocho. <laughs> you just made the list. And crowd starts chin. Let's go jobber. <laughs> Taz is on commentary like, oh, they're calling this man this, uh, quite frankly, disrespectful phrase. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Jericho called them. So that's what they were going to yeah, call Yeah, Jericho them. called them that. <laughs> and they were doing it affectionately. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, good. The, the, the longer the match goes, the louder the crowd gets for yep, this guy. Yep, they're losing their shit, bro. They go and into Jericho- commercial break, and when they come back, it's just like the New York Yankees hit a home run during the commercial break. <laughs> Facts. It was crazy, bro. It was just like, what happened, bro? What did we miss? Jericho hit did, a cold breaker on this you man. You get Pip. He, what was he doing during Pip? Was there Pip? He was just working him over. Same yeah. Damn. He was just over. Like, this dude was over. Fuck it. Um, I think because Jericho hit him with a cold breaker, he kicked out of the cold breaker. And then the crowd just would have said, like, oh, nah, we got something here. Yep. This guy. Yep. This, this guy's crazy. Yeah. So the, now they're they're serenading this man seven nation RV style. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, let's go, Jobber! Y'all can't say Andretti. Fucking Excalibur had a great line. Somehow, action Andretti still in this match against Chris Jericho. Every single comeback he makes, they get louder yep. and louder. Yep. He goes for a split-legged moonsault, RVD style, but Jericho Clean. cuts it off. Mm-hmm. Rolls him up for two, sends him outside, hits a split-legged to the floor. Crouch chin, holy shit now. Yep. He goes for a springboard. Jericho catches him. I love the commentary for this because even they're like, oh, this guy, this guy. And then when Jericho catches him for the walls, mm-hmm. Taz is like, oh, there it is. That's it. Yep. Yep. Or at least Jericho they, you would have thought. Walls. Yeah, you would have thought. So he puts him in the walls, but... Andretti stuffs him, hits a drop kick, then a running shooting star press. How? Covers for the one, two, three. Uh. <laughs> this man just pinned Chris Jericho. He just pinned the outro. <laughs> Crowd is going insane. Losing this man their, is running around he's ringside. He's running ringside. Everybody shaking everybody's hand. He jumps into the crowd celebratorily. It was crazy, man. It was, you would have swore this kid was like, everybody knew him from the indie scene or some shit. Facts. That's how he seemed, bro. It was crazy. 
Crowd chants, you deserve it. Like, straight up, this is a fucking one, two, three kid moment. Like, yep. yep. They're going crazy for this dude. Moonsault. <laughs> <That's-> <laughs> oh, God. I'm never going to forget that. He'll never live that down. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, so so he was like that dead, half drunk, and he just goes up and <laughs> he just yells, Moonsault. <laughs> it worked out for him. And here, here on Jetty. He just said, running, shooting, star, blip. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. One, two, three, and he's out, bro. That's crazy. Now, like. Are they going to call him one, two, three, one, two, three, Jetty? Shit. They, they might, you might have to come up with some one, two, three, kid S gear. Walmart already put him over on Twitter. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Oh, my guy. See, man, everybody used to. I feel like. Pac got a bad rap back in the day, and and now he's kind of like, I guess I guess reformed. <laughs> yeah, and everybody is like showing him love now. Yeah, you know what which, gets which me is mad. Good. You know what gets me mad, like really mad sometimes. And I just Triple H was saying all that shit. Remember, if my kids look up China, blah 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 blah. Yeah, Sean Waltman ain't miss one moment of that shit. Facts. Went into the Hall of Fame and everything, man. Y'all over here talking shit trips. That shit hurt my heart. That means there was something else going on in your head, man. Yeah. Anyways. They played it dirty. They played that dirty. But, you know. We got Ricky Starks in the back. (laughs) Moving on. We got Ricky Starks. He says he feels just as prepared for this match as he did when he first stepped into AEW. Said he has grinded and paid his dues for 11 years, and all of that comes to a head tonight. How long? Pu- 11 years. 11 years. 11 years. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey had Big E on her thing, too. <laughs> 11 years. That's awesome, bro. Like, why? I got to get on this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got to get in good graces with Bailey and, and figure it out. All right, I want to I wanna talk. I like no, talking. know what to do in the last scenario. <laughs> but regardless. Listen, listen. <laughs> I will keep it strictly business. I am not. I, <laughs> my name is not TJ the Gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what to do that, that Boy. <laughs> Simmer down now, y'all. Simmer down now, y'all. Simmer down. But yes, Ricky says, you know, you want to talk about me and, and my batter percentage. I've been putting on performances like that from day one. Mm-hmm. It's been the facts. Um, I love this promo. I love Max's promo. I feel like these two really bring out a different level in each other because they yeah. know they got to step up because they know the other one ain't going to slack. But MJF ain't say shit about him having them fucking cheap ass clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Facts. He ain't say a damn word about that because he know. You he know even better. said it in his promo. He goes, the most fashionist. Sh- 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 fuck, how do you say that? <laughs> <laughs> the most fashionist in AEW. That's not even a word. <laughs> That's not. All right, we go. I'm just saying, yeah, though, Ricky. Tony. We 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 we, not, we, we might go need ahead, more Ricky. of MJF and Ricky. We might need some more. Oh no, nah, this just slapped. Every, everything about this feud has, has been slapping. This shit slaps. Mm-hmm. Um, also, we got FTR telling off the ass boys. I love how they fucking disrespect the ass boys. <laughs> they t- we gonna call you Austin and Colton. <laughs> gonna call you by your names. Government names out here. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't been paying you boys too much attention because we've been trying to work on cementing our legacy. But you know what? After what you've done, you got that our cat attention is now. Enjoying that goddamn corner, bro. She's going crazy. <laughs> so yeah, they, they tell the ass boys, we're gonna beat your asses now. So FTR ain't playing. Now we got Jericho in the back throwing a fucking fit after his loss to Action Andretti. Mm-hmm. He's fucking throwing shit around, upending tables. He's pissed off. And then, then that takes us to Ty Mello versus Ruby Soho. I fucking hate her song, bro. Yeah, she still got that song. It's Fuck, just now man. got- And now uh, it's got the bullshit in front of it. The, the Jericho Appreciation, Appreciation. Society. Oh, get the fuck out of here. That's some her, sports entertainment for you right there. Her and the mask decide to to swap spit. Yes, her and Sammy make out. <laughs> on cam on commentary, they were talking about. I think I think they they had each other's lunch. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, God. They basically said this is a fucking <laughs> mama bird feeding the baby bird, basically. Yeah. That's gross, you guys. Come on, man. <laughs> the, less, the less said about that nonsense, the better. Yep. And then, you um, know, we, we get destination unknown. Yes, Ruby, 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 Ruby. So uh, She's awesome, bro, man. She's great. Shout out to Ruby. Uh, good to see her back. Mm-hmm. Rasting on Dynamite. Yep. Uh, they brawl outside to start. Then they go in the ring. Yeah, I was gonna go. say they went the, the the Triple H Stone Cold route. Yeah, they, we gonna go outside and inside. And outside I'm, I'm, and I'm gonna throw you here. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then, then I'm gonna throw you over there. <laughs> we gonna get our brawl on. Outside brawl, aka shortcuts. Yeah. <laughs> so they they brawl a little bit, and then mm-hmm. Ty she she runs off. She tries to leave. She's like the classic heel. Ah, fuck this! I'm out of here. Ty's on commentary was talking about it. He's like a lot of people. They would say that she's she's whack for this, but she's actually luring uh, Ruby Soho in, uh, and she kind of did. Yes, Taz proved to be right, mm-hmm. and she suckered her in, hit a DDT into the picture in picture. Uh, we come back. Ruby's got to make her comeback. She gets tied down in the ring. She goes for the senton, but Ty dodges, hits the big pump kick for a mm-hmm. near fall, and a big old NXT face out of the near fall. <laughs> oh, see, and that's when we need the Japanese crowd. You feel me? Facts. And then she hit a gotch pile driver and, and got gets another near fall. Mm-hmm. And again, big NXT face. <gasps> I can't believe she kicked out. Can't believe it. And then yes, Ruby you pops can. her up. You can yeah. definitely believe it. It just happened. Yeah. You, you, you ain't never win with that move. You Why fucking you like weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ruby pops her up, hits destination unknown, gets the one, two, Ruby, and three. Ruby, 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 Ruby so ho. Ruby Soho. What a good match. Winner. Fun match. Fun match. Mm-hmm. Um, good to see Ruby back. Uh, I can't get over how she was already hot. Then she broke her nose and got hotter. That's crazy. <laughs> well, they, when they fixed it, they, they gave her a nice little, you know, a nice little a little whistle at the end of it. And now, it's, now, it's, now it's looking fine. <laughs> yeah. And then post-match, Anna J runs down and immediately attacks Ruby Soho and lays her out. Ooh. And Ty J... They stand tall at the end of this. So Ruby, she, she did need... the very move that took her out. Yes, and then yeah. Ruby selling her face at the end. So, yep. Commentators even say Ruby, her her recently repaired nose may have mm-hmm. suffered even more damage. Mm-hmm. And that's a little know. scary. That's spooky. Ruby need Ruby need a homie. Yep, yep. She need a friend to help her out. Where the hell was Ortiz? <laughs> Word, somebody. Shit. Who the fuck was was Eddie? Yeah. Imagine Eddie would have ran down. Eddie, 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 get the fuck out of here. The fuck are you doing? Get the fuck. <laughs> Fucking the crowd would have lost their shit. <laughs> I feel like that's not what that's why they're not putting them on TV that much. They're holding them. They're, they're gonna do something with them and they're holding yeah, them. Yeah, because it's I yeah, because I, I could get that. Like mm-hmm. you know every time you bring Eddie out, he's gonna get a crazy pop. So yep. they don't want to waste his pops. Yep. But they gotta, you know, bring him out a little more so that way, you know. Yeah, at least let the crowd pop for him yeah. here and there. For the fuck so. of it. Have them save people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great way to put over a baby face. You just keep having them save people. We got Alex Marvez with mm-hmm. Hangman Adam Page. Looking yeah, you for have an to update. This. When it comes to Tony's and, and Alex's and this, you know, you gotta you gotta you gotta let us know. <laughs> this is teleportation god, Alex. Yep. Um, <laughs> where where what destination did they send them to now? Yeah, yeah. Hangman is I don't know what, what room they in, but some doctor's office. Yeah, doctor's office, I think. But yeah, Hangman is giving. Hangman is like, I'll give you an update. Here's an update from the night that that all went down. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was able to answer. You know, what night is it? The fact that I was wrestling the world champion, I was able to answer where I was. And then they gave me my phone. And my son looking up at me. It was like, we need, we need you to check all these missed calls. And you looked at your phone. And it was like, oh, that's a cute boy. What's his name? And then I realized. I didn't know my son's name. For an hour, I couldn't answer my son's name. Damn. He says, I've been to hell, John Moxley. So if you want to take me to hell on Rampage, then you're going with me. God damn, Gang that shit. is. Gang shit. That is That's a crazy. promo. That is mm-hmm. a deep ass promo shit. He literally, yo, the way he set that up, though, where he was like, nah, I thought it was good for a while. Until they show me a picture of my son's green eyes, and I see those green eyes looking up at me, and I can't for for the life of me tell you his name. I couldn't even remember it for 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 an hour and change. That's crazy. 
my heart would be broken, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, that's scary. That's that is scary. Mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine. Couldn't be me. Yeah. Um, we got the best friends and Dustin Rhodes. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin just did one of those classic old school promos that I like that he was doing at the beginning Sh of the Shouty, AEW. shouty, uh, yeah. uh, baby face promos. I've got the best friends and I've got the spooky kid. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we got the spooky guy with us too. And then I was just looks over like, ah. <laughs> All right, hands in. <laughs> when they did the hands in, everybody put their hand normal. Pop, 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 stack it up. Fucking Danhausen does this. Who's wrong with this bozo, man? And then Dustin is like, Butcher and Play, Trent Seven, Kip Sabian, we go face you, mm -hmm. all rampage. And yeah. I didn't even care who the fuck he was wrestling. He was just wrestling. He, he was hyped. Yeah, I was like, yeah, was yeah, yeah. Then I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 the fuck is this? <laughs> Could have saw this motherfucker was trying to play Thriller on the fucking uh, keyboard. <laughs> that, that. <laughs> oh, God. Um, and they announced, mm -hmm. um, should the AEW Trio's best of seven go to game six, that will be false count anywhere. And should it go to game seven, Jesus, it will be Escalara de la Muerte. Oh my god. A ladder god. match. A ladder of doom. Ladder of doom in California where Ooh. that would take place. Ooh. That's going to be legendary. Whoosh. Lucha That's going to be Bros, legendary. Mexicans. Settle. Settle. Miedo. Meet us in, in the, the ring. ring. Hell yeah. So. Where Young Wolf at? <laughs> facts. He Yo, well, if you go into that, if you go into, that, you go into that, bro, let us know, bro. Let us know. <laughs> you got to wear a Lakers jersey or something. That's game seven. Pivotal. Hell yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't wear a Clippers jersey. <laughs> oh, I hope they wear fucking jerseys for game seven if they go to game seven. They got to. The fucking uh, Young Bucks better wear the Clippers then. <laughs> or not, they, they can wear Golden this. State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do Golden State. That, that's, that's a more reputable team. <laughs> Yeah, do, do Golden State in the Lakers or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad yellow. <laughs> yeah. It looks like there's been enough talk. Oh, it's time shit. for the main event. For the AEW oh, World Championship wow. and the AEW Dynamite Diamond Ring, winner bam, take all. Bam, 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 Absolute bam, bam, bam. Ricky Starks. Versus MJF. The revolution is now televised. The revolution has in fact been televised. Ricky is hometown hero to the max. Mm -hmm. Does he and got they, Louis Vuitton on, 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 his, on his logo, on his gear? He probably do. He, he probably went to counter. So fucking max wearing his fat, fucking fashion Burberry. Fashion. <laughs> it's Louis Fashion. V versus Burberry. I'm the most fashionish. Most. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> the most fashionist in AEW. The fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I love the way they did this. These these are new school yeah. dudes, but they wrestled the old school match. They you, did you so play much. The song, by the way. What? Beeped. Oh, you know, Billy, you know. Billy, Billy, you Billy, know that's Billy, playing. Billy. You know that's playing. You Billy, know. Billy, yo, this man. Did you notice his title belt was sideways when he came up? Yeah. <laughs> yo, life don't like that, man, bro. I swear to God. Triple B, <laughs> Triple B was all sideways. Triple B was triple sideways, bro. Get the fuck man. out of here with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, they they did a lot of classic babyface heel stuff in this match. A lot mm -hmm. of old school throwback type of uh, heat spots. And it really worked because the crowd was all over it. They had um, MJF, mm -hmm. he did the, the classic heel and abdominal stretch spot where yep. he's grabbing the ropes for leverage. And every time the ref would look over at him, like, hey, what you doing? He would, he would put his hand back. <laughs> I'm, I'm Until the, the, the final time wrestling. where the yeah. ref caught him and was like, hey, and he kicked his hand up. <laughs> he kicked him in the dick. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right in the square in the That'd nuts. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Um, Ricky comes back, hits a big Liger bomb for a near fall. MJF comes back. He slaps Ricky. Ricky fires back with a big slap of his own. They start trading center ring. 
Ricky breaks the stalemate with a big spear. They double down. Uh, then Ricky goes over, covers for the one, two. He got him. No. no. MJF chains right into the Fujiwara armbar, the salts of the earth. Yep. Um, Ricky's going for the ropes, but MJF grabs his hand, and then he starts biting his fingers. Yeah. He's trying man. to, like, grab and bite every fucking inch of Ricky that may get the ropes. Speaking of fingers, right, there was this one part, right, when when uh, when I think uh, I think Ricky had just done the gimmick. Yeah. And then when he turns around, he <laughs> right yeah. at MJF, like, fuck his shit, B. <laughs> this your personal <laughs> Oh, man. Hit him with the big pose down. Like, yeah, I'm more charismatic than you too, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But that's what ended up fucking him over. Because remember, then after that, I think uh, MJF blindsided him. Yeah. And that's what started the match. Yeah, that's where MJF got his heat. Um, Then Ricky, uh, he escapes, gets to the ropes. Mm -hmm. Then he goes for Rochambeau, but MJF dodges. Pushes the ref into Ricky. Ricky gets the ref out of the way real quick. But in that split second... MJF drops the low blow on Ricky. And then he kicks him in the ding ding. <laughs> kicks him in the ding ding. Gets him with the inside cradle for the one, two, and three. You Fuck piece me. of shit. Piece of shit. <laughs> you Jeff. piece of shit. You ain't worth nothing, B. What the fuck That's was that, goddamn man? thing. Damn, bro. Our boy was fucking working in there. And then you going to fucking kick him in the ding ding. Some fuck ass bullshit like that. Some fuckery, B. Get the fuck out of here. But have no fear. That ghoul. That gobble ghoul. But have no fear. The American Dragon is here. Dun 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 dun. Brian Danielson runs down, runs MJF off. MJF runs off into the crowd to end the show as Danielson meets up with Ricky in the ring and puts him over to end the show. Greatness. In fact, greatness. Greatness. Indeed, that I, I was clapping. I was, you know, I was, I was, I was doing my gimmick. You know what I'm saying? I was twerking. I was doing the <laughs> Tina twerk because I can't <laughs> twerk. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that that's your dad, buddy. <laughs> oh man! Don't stop, pump that pussy. Let me see you do do. <laughs> Don't stop. You're gonna get your fucking architect. <laughs> 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 oh, that shit was lit, bro. Nah, but you know, and then you know, we get the Ricky Steam and. Danielson puts him over. He's like, this guy, this guy here, he tried his ass off, man. Ricky was doing this shit the right way, but you got to understand, when you're going up against MJF, you can't do shit the right way. You have to understand this, Ricky. Ricky, let me holler at you right quick. Man, it's the devil. I'm from the streets, man. I, mean, I got to give you some knowledge, B. You know, they say, you know, they say the, the, the game is to be to be told, not to be sold. You know what I'm saying? So, I, so for a little, little bit of free advice. I would have had some brass knuckles or something to that effect just in case a situation like that were to occur. I would wear a cup in case of a situation like that because of the fact that if you remember what happened with a man by the name of AJ Styles. See, I, I, I have all this shit in my head. If I was a baby face, I would look at every fucking promoter like, you can't do this shit to me because I know. You can't do this shit to me because I know. This shit right here, I know every time. That those are these are key things that if you try to do to me, I will definitely always do some funny shit. So, <laughs> and then all of this is reinforcement on why the perfect guy to beat MJF for the title is Eddie Kingston. Yep, <laughs> it's got to be a man from these streets. You know what I'm saying? If a man from these streets is not gonna be scared, he gonna be prepared. Proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. You understand me? So when 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 you a man from these streets, you know exactly what you're doing out there. You always got a little something, bro. You got a blade under your tongue. You know what I'm saying? Always, well, in your cheek. You don't put it under your tongue. You cut yourself really bad. And there's a lot of, you know, little blood vessels down there. You don't do that. Put it in between your teeth and your gums. You put it upside down, blade up. It's a lot of information. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of information. You give it out. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, you ain't got to tell you, you, you have all that shit up. I'm from the streets, man. Just know. <laughs> Street shit. Street shit. <laughs> the game is to be told, not to be sold. Remember that. That's a fact. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Dynamite. <laughs> that, yes, this was Dynamite. Uh, 
this felt straight out of 2020, fresh out of pandemic, 2021 AEW, where like there was, yeah, like something for everybody. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun characters and stories, Mm -hmm. like a knockout show, I thought. Yep, and a lot of... Because they even played it before this shit. They played it before this match. They did. They played it right before the main event. God damn it. They running down the series again. Man, I love that you bought that shit. That's so good. Oh, God. You know he didn't buy it. He probably leased it. Yeah, leased it. For, you know, yeah. got the right to play it. But for wonderful bit, shit. But that's dope. Yeah. <laughs> that's still fucking fantastic. You know, whenever they have, like, the AEW Network or whatever the fuck they end up calling it, that shit is definitely not going to have that version on there. Yeah, there's going to be some knockoff version. <laughs> oh, D, some YouTube safe version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Tej, man they know that they watching us here on YouTube right now but where the fuck else can they find us oh indeed yeah mm-hmm. already know where to find us find us on Instagram at Ramble Mania Show and at Banter Club Podcast find us on Twitter at Ramble Mania Facebook.com slash Ramble Mania Show also find our group there, Ramble Mania Shows Banter Club, where we and the other wrestlers and podcasters and everybody we associate with post all our goings on and all that's going down. As far as audio goes, wherever audio is found, that's Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Anchor, Tune, and Overcast, everywhere your podcasts are found. Search Ramble Mania Show or Banter Club. And as far as visuals, we're right here on twitch.tv slash Ramble Mania Show. We are at YouTube, search Ramble Mania Show or Banter Club, Spotify video as well. When you get here, like the videos, click subscribe, and click the bell so that when the new content drops, it, it goes, goes straight, straight to you. you. And as for me personally, here. find me on Instagram at TJ the Great One. That's TJ the GR, the number eight, the number one. And find me on Twitter at TJ the Great. That's TJ the GR, the number eight. eight. It's as simple as that. TJ the Great. Okay. TJ Degree. You can find me on Instagram at the number six, the letter X, the letter L, that is at 6XL. You can find me on Twitter at S double I double X ain't I great. That is at S I I X X. You're all ready. You'll also find us on TikTok at Ramble Mania Show. You know, we're going to start putting up a few more clips up there, so y'all better get ready. (sighs) With all of this over and done with everything being said that we need to say we're gonna leave our banter club loyalists with one last thing and it is a uh too sweet too sweet and a good fight and a good night black 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 black